Hey folks, welcome back. Just wanted to spend a little bit of time talking about director Stuart Gordon who passed away last night. He's a director I've loved from a young age. I put him up there with George Romero, Toby Hooper, John Carpenter. He's absolutely one of my favorite directors. Um, starting off with Reanimator. This is the film that I rented on VHS when I was probably too young to be watching it. Well before high school. Um, starring Jeffrey Combs as Herbert H. West. Um, everybody knows the tale of Reanimator. This is still the best of the series of films. And the amounts of gore in this shocked me as a kid. The uh, eroticism of it, the atmosphere of it, the wicked sense of humor. It's so black. Um, I don't think I picked up on the humor the first couple times I watched it. Up next for him was From Beyond. Probably my favorite film of his. Um, my... my I think it's one of the best realized Lovecraft adaptations as far as the look and atmosphere. Um, again, starring Barbara Crampton and Jeffrey Combs. It's super crazy. The effects are on par with The Thing, in my opinion. Um, the atmosphere, the visuals of it, just drenched in deep primaries. Um, to me, I think A Color Out of Space took a lot from this, the recent film. Um, but definitely, from beyond, one of the best. Up next, we got Dolls, which is a movie he did for Empire Pictures and Charlie Band. And this is probably, like, think of Puppet Master, but ten times better. And I'm saying that as a fan of the Puppet Master series, particularly Part 3, but this blows away any of the Puppet Master films. If you want to see a film about little creatures, toys, attacking people in an old dark house, this is the one to see. He did Robot Jocks after that, sci-fi, action, adventure, lots of great stop-motion animation in here, realizing this. Um, definitely check out Robot Jocks. I got two copies of that. Pit and the Pendulum, starring Lance Henriksen. If you like stuff like The Witchfinder General and Mark of the Devil about the corruption of the Inquisition, um, this is one of my favorites, a late 80s film with Lance Henriksen, directed by Stuart Gordon from Full Moon Features. I still think this is one of the best Full Moon Features they ever made. Fortress, starring Christopher Lambert from the Highlander series. Another great film, sci-fi, action, adventure. Um, not a film that gets enough love. Definitely need to check this out. Castle Freak, another Full Moon feature Stuart Gordon and then we got Jeffrey Combs and Barbara Crampton back which is awesome um, anytime we've got those three together check it out whether it's reanimator from beyond castle freak well worth checking out um, great castle in here the same one you see in a lot of full moon features because I think he bought the castle um, but a lot of great atmosphere in this one Space Truckers is one I haven't seen for a while. Um, I remember liking it, starring Dennis Hopper and Steven Dorff. It's about futuristic truckers, and uh, I remember liking it, but I need to revisit it. Uh, from Beyond's my favorite Lovecraft adaptation from Stuart Gordon, but uh, Dagon is right up there for me. Uh, about a group of travelers on a boat that become stranded and end up on an island inhabited by people who seem to be fishy. Uh, two editions of that. I got one from Umbrella Entertainment and another from Vestron Video. And the guy that got to play the main character is not Jeffrey Combs, but he looks an awful lot like him, which I appreciated. The later films, stuff like King of the Ants, I haven't seen in a while, but uh, basically a uh, revenge thriller. Definitely worth checking out. Edmund, starring William H. Macy, who uh, always turns in a solid performance. A wickedly funny shocker. It's about a night that just turns into a nightmare for a man. His whole world falls apart. Loved it. Stuck is based on the true life account of a homeless man who was struck by a woman. He was embedded in her windshield and she kept him in her garage until he died. This film gives that homeless man a bit of revenge. It goes a bit fantasy towards the end, but I loved it. And last up for me, Masters of Horror. Dreams in the Witch House, great series, excellent episode, and he did go on to do a, another episode of the Fear Itself series after this. I don't own it, but I'm definitely going to pick it up now. Um, Please check out the films of Stuart Gordon. If you don't know his films, you need to rediscover them. Start with Reanimator from Beyond, um, Dagon is awesome, um, I'm going to miss him. I'm sad to know there's never going to be another Stuart Gordon directed film in the world. That's our loss. Thanks for checking out the video. Go check out Stuart Gordon. He was awesome.